Hello everyone, this is Ashron. We're in the oil field. Uh, we're going to take a look at troubleshooting a well here. I've already done it. I already know what's wrong with it. But I decided I'd make a video as a companion to the parted rod video. And we're going to start with the anatomy here. And a piece of equipment that's on this well that's not on most. A couple of them actually. So, anatomy of a well. You have your well bore, which is right here. And it's got the casing that runs from the surface to the total depth of the well or where the zone location is. Then you perforate the casing to allow the fluid from the zone to flow into the casing itself. Then you run tubing inside of the casing and that's what brings the oil up through the rods and pump into the casing through your flow line to your tanks. Now, if you don't have good tubing integrity, you get a hole in a tubing on a low volume well or pretty much any well, you're going to lose production. And this well here has lost production. Now, uh, I'm not going to touch the polish rod, but you can see it's getting some discoloration to it. The polish rod's running hot. It's only been running for about five minutes. The reason to do this is so I can do this. I got the hose off here so I can show it. I'm going to open the valve. And it's got to blow there, just like so, but no fluid. There's nothing. Now, because of something that's on here, once I blow that gas pressure off of it, let me show you something. We're going to look for pump action. So what this should do is with each stroke, that should either fill with uh, gas pressure or suck in. It should look like it's breathing. And as you can see, it's showing pump action. So I know my pump is good. So we're going to leave this right here. I'm going to shut the valve. Actually, I'm going to take it with me. Right there, it's called a vacuum pump. Pulling a vacuum on the casing. Now, I don't know if it's going to show as easily because this has been down for 24 hours. I'm going to shut the well down. And what's going to happen is it's going to have fluid drop out of the tubing. When I put this back on here, you saw that blow a while ago. That tells me something that this well did. So I'm going to try to get this all in frame because I need two hands to do it. I can't see my screen, so let's get a little air pocket in there and then wrap it up a little bit. Open the valve. Okay, now if you look, it just sucked it in, just like so. See how it's pulling it, pulling it in? As I try to lift it, it's pulling against it. That back suck on here, instead of pumping out, it's sucking it in. That means a hole in the tubing. The fluid from the tubing is dropping through the hole. And as you can see, packing got hot enough that it started to seep a little bit. You can see some discoloration up in here, maybe, if it picks it up on the camera. You can see where the metal's, what, what, you know, gauded. Right there it is. You can see the change in color. Alright. So, the hole in the tubing, that's how you diagnose it. You're feeling a back suck. You shut it down, you feel a back suck. Yesterday, because the flood level in the casing hadn't come up, <clears throat> to above the hole in the t where the hole is then uh, the vacuum pump was pulling a vacuum through the hole onto the tubing so since it sat for 24 hours the flood level has come up in the case into above the hole that's why I had to start it up pump it down a little bit fill the tubing up with fluid but the hole's bad enough it can't get past it 
high enough to come to the surface outside of a uh, little bit of little bit of water droplets and uh, gas pressure that gas pressure is what this is for it's called a marver valve gas catcher what it does is it separates the gas out of the flow line and allows it to be vented either back into the casing or uh, through the atmosphere through a flare line or whatnot to uh, alleviate natural gas accumulating at your tank and stop your flow lines from burping. And uh, what that does is it just pushes all your flow line fluid into the tanks and it empties your flow lines out and so they gotta refill and it'll give you an inconsistent daily production. Uh, if you gauge it same time every day, you could catch it before a burp, after a burp or belch, however you wanna call it. Um, but, uh, you know, if you, if you eliminate the gas going to the tanks or to the flow line, then your flow line stay full of fluid. You get a more consistent daily, uh, 24 hour gauge in theory. Uh, basically if you're familiar with a gas separator, that's kind of how this works. It works as a gas separator, but on the flow line itself at each individual well. Um, as you can see, this is shut off on it right now because of the other issues that are going on. So now we're going to have to get a rig in here, lay the well down, test the tubing, replace the bad joints of tubing. Anytime you pull a well, you always want to test it because uh, you don't want to pull it for a hole in the tube and come back a week later with another one. And even when you do test it, you can have that happen. I have, have to deal with that on another lease. So... You know, but uh, that's that's the the deal with how you get a hole in a tube and what it does, what it does to your production, how to diagnose it. Some people like using water. I normally just use my hand, but you can't really see that on video, so I tried using a piece of plastic, which is by far the easiest. Um, also, uh, vacuum pumps. So this is something you don't normally see on an oil well. Uh, that belt needs changing, but uh, I just recently took this over pumping it Vacuum pump is used on a well of low bottom hole pressure Bottom hole pressure the more pressure you have the easier the fluid comes into your casing through the perforations The lower the pressure the more help it needs So the idea here is you pull a vacuum on the casing gives a suction effect to help the pump so you're sucking the fluid into the casing itself from the perfs and once it does that then the pump picks it up and brings it up through the tubing um i've only been around one or two other wells and 40 years of being around the oil field that i can remember so new map you know i was two years old <laughs> 40 years ago um i've only ever been around a couple of vacuum pumps so they're not a common feature they're not something you see every day uh, this is set up on a uh, swivel system so it keeps the belt tensioned at all times actually i kind of like that but uh anyway this has been astron we're in the oil field this has been hole in a tubing hope you enjoyed the video if you did like and subscribe I don't put up as much oil field videos as I'd like simply because a lot of times it's not in a situation where I can. But when it comes to troubleshooting and figuring out things are wrong, I look at these as educational to people wanting to learn more about oil wells and what it takes to work in the oil field. Um, so with that, I bid you adieu and I'll see you next time. Astron out.